Hi Mark, thank you for agreeing to talk about the pictures in the forthcoming exhibitions at Skimpton Castle and Scampton Hall Wall Garden Restaurant this coming November and December. Why do you use animals as your subject matter? I've always been fascinated by animals since I was a tiny child, um, but strangely never really used them in my art until I went on a trip to the zoo at art school and discovered that the process of working from life really rapidly um, meant that the marks that I was making were more interesting and I wasn't able to overwork, which is a tendency that I've always had. Um, and since that time I've, I've loved working with animals. The structural form is something that's always interested me and the movement as well. So apart from conservation issues and a genuine interest in the subject matter, it's been a very useful way of, of bringing forward my working practice. Thank you. And when, when you are drawing or painting an animal, what are you thinking about? I get very I tend to work in series, so I get very involved with a specific project and a specific environment and a specific animal, and I tend to spend many, many hours in the field where possible, observing and drawing and filming, depending on what's happening. Um, and I'm looking for posture, movement, interesting interesting activity, um, but I suppose more than that, the way that light falls on the structure of the animal, I'm particularly interested in structure, which is why I think sculpture is another interesting dimension to my working practice. Um, and go going back to the movement, uh, how important is movement to you? Crucial. I mean, I, I mean as, as I said, uh, I mean, the fact that they do move, you can't ask an animal to pose for you, was you know, instrumental in developing the marks, you know, that I use. Um, and I, I think that activity, the sort of urgency of trying to get something down really rapidly, you know, a little bit like light on a changing landscape, um, it, it forces you to make, to make marks that are definite and, and interesting and, and relevant, a sort of shorthand in a way. Mm. And I know uh, sculpture is a relatively new medium for you, and like all artists, from Michelangelo to Picasso, want to explore different surfaces. How have you found this? I really enjoy working in three dimensions. I mean, I think, in a sense, the difficulty of it is often overestimated when we live in a three-dimensional world, and perhaps, you know, transforming your three dimensions into two dimensions on paper and canvas is, is in some ways, harder. Um, I think I've always loved drawing, which is my primary primary practice anyway, and and I think sculpture and drawing are very closely connected. Um, I've really enjoyed it, particularly working in plaster directly, which is a bit like like drawing a line with something. It, it, you know, it, it solidifies so fast; you have to work with great urgency. And uh, I know you like to get up close to the animals you are drawing. Have you ever been charged or attacked by them? I think the most aggressive animal I've ever encountered um, was a turkey in a, in a city farm in London. I was actually not trying to draw the turkey, perhaps it was offended. Um, I was drawing a goose and the turkey savaged me. I had to hold it off with a, with a large fork. Um, I've also been attacked by an ostrich. I, I, perhaps my, my relationships with birds have been less good. Thank you very much for that.